Today in our 2015 Kia Soul, we're doing a test fit of the Swagman XC2 platform style bike rack. That part number is S64650. Now we already have our bike installed, we're first going to show you how we secure it in place. We have our frame hook here that pushes our bike down into our wheel cradles. Now you may notice on this bike rack compared to others, we don't have any wheel straps of any kind. Now I can confirm reading customer reviews and my own experience with this bike rack. You don't have to worry about adding extra straps or anything that this frame hook does really well to hold our bike down. So we're just going to push on the gray button here and lift that up. Now you do want to be careful if your bike is anything like ours. It is close to our vehicle. So you just want to watch as you remove your bike. We'll set this off to the side. And then I like to lower my frame hooks. And now we can take a few measurements. Overall to our vehicle, we're adding about 19 inches. Our ground clearance is going to be about 14 inches there. And our closest point looks to be our wheel cradles at about six inches away. Now we've got a few different positions we can put the rack into. Our first one, we're gonna pull out our center pin here. We're gonna be able to lower our mass down. Reinsert that pin. You may need to move your frame hooks out of the way just a bit just so that the pinholes line up. And then we're going to gain full access into that back hatch area to get anything in or out that we may need. We can close that up. And then we'll put our mast back into place here. And we can remove our two pins on either side and lift up our cradle arms. So this is going to be great for any time that you need to take your bike rack off of your vehicle and put it somewhere where you don't have a lot of room to store it. You can just fold those up and it's a nice compact position. As for our hitch, this works with both inch and a quarter and two inch hitches. And it comes with an anti-rattle bolt to keep a lot of the shake and play out of the rack as you head down the road. So that's going to be our completed look at the Swagman XC2, part number S64650 on our 2015 Kia Soul. Here on our test course, we'll start by going through the solemn. This is going to show us the side-to-side -side action, which simulates turning corners or evasive maneuvers. Once we get to the alternating speed bumps, we'll see the twisting action. This will simulate hitting a curb or pothole or driving over uneven pavement. Once we get to the full speed bumps, we'll see the up and down action. This will be just like driving in and out of a parking lot, garage, or driveway.